As soon as my aunt heard the boots, she knew that she has to hide me. Blanche Fixler was a child in Poland when the Nazis came looking for her. She put me in a bed and the Germans came and they looked every little place, they looked in every corner. They even tapped on the bed. So I felt them tapping on the bed. And I said, you better not breathe or sneeze or anything or you'll be dead. Blanche's mother and her siblings were murdered. But thanks to her aunt Rose, who hid her, Blanche incredibly, miraculously survived the Holocaust. Today, she has few photos from her childhood. Many pictures from the 1930s and 1940s do survive though, and hundreds are on display here in the Museum of Jewish Heritage in New York City. But just like many other museums devoted to Jewish heritage, a lot of the people in the photos here are unnamed. Here, three men are being deported to a concentration camp. Perhaps they don't know where they're going. We don't know. The museum says they don't know who they are or what happened to them. It's a common story. We don't have the names uh, for everybody. That's, you know, part of the problem. And I, 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 I can't stress enough how important these photos are of individuals. We all know the figure, you know, six million, six million Jews who were killed, but it's really one person six million times. Every person has a name, every person has a face. But as members of that community have died, so too has the ability to directly identify others in archival photos. Software engineer Daniel Pat has been working to help solve this problem using artificial intelligence. He calls the project from numbers to names. The way it works is that, let's say for example, you're looking for a photo of your family member, you have a picture of them from before, and you upload it and we scan through hundreds of thousands of photos, millions of faces in seconds to find the, the photos that have the most likely chance of being of your own family member. His algorithm has scanned hundreds of thousands of pictures. Using facial recognition technology, his program links faces. A single picture of one person whose name we know can help identify that same person in another photo where we don't. So what we're looking at here on the left, this is a photo of Bronia Brunner, who's also, whose name uh, now is Blanche Fixler. So I uploaded this photo on the left, and um, it actually identifies all the faces in the photo, but uh, Blanche is the one who's in the bottom left here. And so now looking through the search results, of course this is the original, but then there's this photo, and if I click on it, it'll actually zoom in to where Blanche might be. This is not a photo that, uh, to the best of our knowledge, Blanche has ever seen before, and to the best of our knowledge, uh, the museum is not aware that Blanche is actually uh, here in this bottom row. But the algorithm only gives probabilities of matches, so today Dan is going to meet Blanche to see whether the picture he found, taken in France, is really her. Hi, nice to meet you. Um, so here we go. This is this is a picture that I found of, of you. This picture, I don't know if you've seen this before. Does this look? Uh, That's me. Yeah. The one so this is a picture. Yes. Yeah, you could tell. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, for sure. I'll zoom in so you can get a closer look. Oh wow. Oh, some of these guys I remember. One was my boyfriend. <laughs> and in the picture, her aunt Rose the aunt that saved her. And here is my aunt, Rose. And oh, wow. <laughs> wow, so I think, uh, uh, to the best of my knowledge, there's only three people in this, in this group that have ident been identified so far. There are hundreds of thousands of people murdered by the Nazis for which there are pictures, but no names. Scott Miller is not part of the Numbers to Names project, but says at least trying to identify victims, even 80 years later, is vital. It's so important to identify these photos because by focusing in on, you know, on, on photos and being able to even just to name somebody, to give somebody a name, you're restoring some semblance of dignity to them, some comfort to their family, and it's a form of memorial for the entire Jewish community. For Blanche, the pictures bring back memories, a song that she learnt in her brief time in France. Quand j'étais mademoiselle, 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 quand j'étais mademoiselle, mademoiselle, j'étais, et comme si, et comme ça, et comme si, et comme ça, 
et comme si, et comme ça, et comme si, comme ça.